guys, it's Shacey. So, fun fact, I actually turned 16 a few days ago on January 10th. So I thought that I would show you guys just some of the things that I've gotten. Um, this isn't necessarily like what I got exactly for my birthday, like that was given to me I guess. Um, a lot of it is also just stuff that I've gotten like shopping recently. But since it is like kind of for my birthday, I thought I would make it into a birthday haul and just show you guys the things for the new 16 year old me. How cool is that? I can get my license next month. Also, I am wearing glasses. I'm not completely sure if I've ever shown my glasses on my channel. I think I might have once, but I'm not completely sure. But regardless, uh, I got a new pair of glasses um, a couple days ago, actually. So yeah, first start off to the haul, new glasses. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking because this is literally the longest intro ever I have been talking for so long. I, I had caffeine before this. I was like, let's drink a Coke. That'll be smart. And now it's 12 a.m. and Death of a Bachelor just came out. And like, oh my god, it's so good. I don't know if any of you guys actually like listen to Panic at the Disco, but I love them so much. And the new album is just like a gift from the heavens. Moving on. So the first thing that I got is from Forever 21 and it is this bright red, I can't like fit the whole thing in frame. It's a bright red uh, knit sweater. The last couple times I've gone in, I have thought about getting it and I didn't just because it's a large, which I am tiny, like I'm five foot, okay? I'm the size of a 12 year old. But I decided to try it on the other day when I was with my friend and so I loved it. It fit. Like I think it's supposed to be cropped. It fits me like kind of slouchy-ish, I guess. I don't know. Um, it fits like a normal sweater. Like really exciting, I guess. But um, I just got the Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay. I am in the color 0.5 and this is what the bottle looks like. It's just like a pump and um, yeah, I tried another foundation because I wanted to switch since I wasn't loving it towards the end. Um, so I tried, I believe the brand was like Japanesque or Japanesque. I probably totally butchered the name of that. I am so sorry. But um, it was this brand at Ulta that I had like never heard of before. But the lady was like, this is great. Try it. It was full coverage, but it was like not good full coverage. It was like I looked so gross like at the end of the day. Like when I first put it on, it looked really good. And I think I used it in my last video actually. That was like one of my first times trying it. And when I first put it on, it looks really great. It's a little bit more yellow than my skin tone, but I was like, I can work with it. And at first, like I said, it looked really good and it was fine. But then like in a couple hours, it like started like I don't even know how to explain it. It just got really patchy and not cute. And so I was like, you know what? I need to go back and I need to get my baby. And I love this stuff. I regret going away from it. So the next thing I bought, okay, bear with me on this one, okay? This was kind of a, like, you know when you're like, I shouldn't get this, but I need it anyways kind of thing? I may have bought a fur coat. Honestly, this is all I've ever wanted in life. So the next thing that I got is a tiny, tiny bit nerdy. Um, if you know me like in real life or we're internet friends or whatever, you probably know I'm like a huge anime nerd. And um, Death Note is like my favorite anime probably of all time. And um, yeah, I can't really say no when I see uh, Death Note merch. So I got this shirt right here. It just has light right here and then L down here. But the next thing that I got that's anime related that I'll show you guys today is this free beanie, which is just like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm literal anime trash. The next thing that I got was actually a gift from my parents. And I'm wearing it right now, and it is this watch. Um, 
It is a Daniel Wellington watch. So it's just a black band and then it has rose gold detailing. Another thing that I got was this jewelry box. I got this from my grandparents. It has a picture frame right here. And if you open it up, I don't have the music wound up right now just so you can hear me talk, but it plays a song. Right now I'm just keeping my watch bands in it as well as like the little tool to go with it. The next thing that I'm gonna show you guys, oh my gosh, let me tell you. I looked everywhere for these. So these are the Adidas Superstars and ended up being, what is this, a five and a half? I'm literally, these are in kids. I'm wearing a kid's size shoe in these. And I mean, I'm small, but I'm not like kid size small most of the time. Obviously, this was an exception. If you order a pair of these shoes, like order them two sizes too small because these are even a little bit big on me and they're a five and a half in kids. Like, so yeah, they are just, you've probably seen them before if you've like literally logged into Tumblr in the last six months. But yeah, they're just these white tennis shoes and mine have some gold on the tongue and on the side and they are the cutest things ever. I am so, so obsessed with them. They are so comfortable. So the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the Lorac Mega 2 Pro Palette. And I've been like eyeing the regular Lorac Pro Palettes just because they're so pretty and the colors are like so like pigmented and blendable and wonderful and amazing and I love them. And, um, but I've just been like, kind of been like, hmm, I don't know. I was kind of iffy about it, but then I saw this palette and I was like, yes, this is the one. The packaging itself is so gorgeous. Um, it's just a really dark matte blue. The writing is silver. If you open it up, there is a huge mirror. That's you, how fun is that? Um, and then the other side is the colors. And this um, palette comes with two rows of matte colors and two rows of shimmery colors, greens, a lot of reds. I really, really like the red and pink colors in this. Some purples. Um, it has a lot of like bone colored shadows. Here, I'll sh swatch some of them. So yeah, ignore my eyeliner, but there's the soft plum, that goji, I think that's might be how you pronounce it, color, and then forest. It's just, this palette just comes with a lot of really versatile colors. So yeah, expect some videos with that palette in the future. Hopefully this video didn't turn out to be too long and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, of course, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos in the future. And so yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I'm so far away from my camera. Like, I'm sorry. I would, I would do the thing where I like cover, but it's just, it's not happening today. I, I, I literally cannot reach. I, it's, no. Bye.